This is the 5-Minute Youth Devotional Reading with Alex Sarria. July 28, Partners. 2 Corinthians 6 1 says, As God's partners, we beg you not to accept this marvelous gift of God's kindness and then ignore it. For centuries, certain functions of the church have not been institutionalized, thus generating stereotypes of class or values. No one doubts the need for pastors, elders, deacons, youth directors, or personal ministry directors. What about the rest of the congregation? Do they have a passive role? That's not the concept of the New Testament uh, New Testament offers for church members. That is why it does not stop emphasizing the gifts and talents with which the body of Christ is compromised. We all have something to contribute. One role that I think gives us all the opportunity to be active as a collaborator or partner. This function shows up in many texts in the New Testament, especially in relation to Paul. And it has a remarkable importance. On some occasions, they are called co-servants, sindulos. On the other occasions, co-workers, synergos. But they would identify with what we call partners. Philemon, Titus, Ephroditus, and those responsibilities they carry the message and help people. Priscilla and Achilla were so engaged in their collaborations that they went so far as to risk their lives for Paul. See Philippians 4, 2, and 3. Paul himself went so far as to claim that their names were written in the book of life. Some were famous like Apollos and others virtually unknown like Clement. They were those who had to adjust their relations like Eudia and Syntyche and those who took chances on the lost, like Barnabas. All, however, had one goal in common, in Paul's words, to strengthen you, to encourage you in your faith, and to keep you from being shaken by the troubles you were going through. 1 Thessalonians 3, 2, and 3. I find it very illustrative, illust- illustrative, that it speaks of strengthening and encouraging the faith and makes no reference to judging, labeling, or rebuking. Perhaps because these last verbs are the function of someone who knows the intentions of the heart and understand context. Someone like God. It seems to me, moreover, that there's already plenty of work strengthening and encouraging the faith of our people, don't you think? The church is a project of fellowship, of partnership. We all help each other. A kind word strengthens the faith of many because it generates the atmosphere of the new earth. A generous and affectionate gesture exhorts because it touches our interior being with such purity that it awakens the spirit and act of support through problems lowers anxiety because we feel we have company we all have the church we all have we all are necessary of course so are you we need your collaboration because it's meaningful and it creates the true church Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this was helpful for you, please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Always remember this, walking with God is the greatest thing you could ever do. You are his priority. Make him yours and you will always live out your purpose. God bless.